Now it's time for Mr. DJ to indulge himself in one of my favorite songs from Billboard's Hot 100 to wake up June the 7th, 1969. I'm a drifter at number 40, 49, 64 to number, can't even see the charts, here it is, from 64 to 54 to number 50 up to number 49. Didn't do that well for him though, for Bobby Goldsboro, I'm a drifter. Love the lyrics to this record, uh, the powerful lyrics. And though you might have loved me like I've never been loved before, your front door is open, and I've got to keep on moving. Let my hitchhike thumb take me to where I want to, because I've got to keep on searching for the dream that I've been seeking. Gosh, it's just powerful lyrics. Bobby Goldsboro, man. I, the Straight Life was another one. One of my favorite songs by him. He did some powerful songs. Immediately, some of his songs sort of bordered on cheesiness, like Honey and Me, Japanese Boy. And uh, But th these powerful records like this one, I'm a Drifter. And remember Summer. Summer was his last hit back in 1973 by Bobby Goldsboro. Fantastic storytelling song. This particular record, uh, I'm a Drifter, was on Billboard's Hot 100 for 10 weeks. Went to number 14 on the adult contemporary charts, number 22 on country. Mass appeal record indeed. The guy who wrote this song, well, the guy who produced this record, Bob Montgomery, songwriting partner of Buddy Holly back in the 50s. As a matter of fact, he performed with Buddy Holly uh, when they were teenagers. Buddy Holly and Bob Montgomery got together and called themselves Bobby and Buddy or something like that. And they performed at school assemblies. And uh, this was before Buddy Holly got big on his own as a solo artist. But... Uh, Bob Montgomery co-wrote some of Buddy Holly's records, a few of them, Heartbeat and Love's Made a Fool of You. He co-wrote that one, Buddy Holly. He passed away of Parkinson's disease. Bob Montgomery did, sad to say, uh, about two years ago, 2014. He was 77, I believe, Bob Montgomery. Buddy and Bob, that's what they called themselves when they performed in high school back in the mid-60s. Bob Montgomery and Buddy Holly, and uh, they they played bluegrass music in high school, and which evolved into rockabilly. But let's go back to this uh, uh, Bobby Goldsboro record. He produced Bobby Goldsboro's Honey, by the way. Bob Montgomery did. He produced this. God, I just love this record. I, uh, I remember I heard this song on Joe Donovan. Joe Donovan played it on WHAS late one night about 20 years ago. Joe Donovan, fantastic oldies DJ, he played the song one night, and, was, and I was like, oh my God, I hadn't heard this song in years. Just blew me away. I absolutely forgot about it. Got to thank Joe Donovan. He passed away a few years ago, but got to thank him for bringing that song back. Bob, uh, Bobby Goldsboro, I'm a Drifter, at number 40, was it 49? Did I say 49 or 46? <laughs> Let me bring it up once again. Bobby Goldsboro, at number 49, on Billboard's Hot 100, June the 7th, 1969.